Hello Leo, how are you guys doing? This reading is for you, okay? Okay, so I just want to clear the energy really quick. Okay, so... what's going on for you Leo you know I saw a storm that's what I saw you have the, the three of swords here and the page of swords with the wheel of fortune and the world look at this this is ridiculous two of pentacles there's something here there's a truth that has been juggling that has been lingering and it's over you're finally realizing how to take some sort of pain that you have been carrying, that you've been holding for a long time, your whole life. And you're learning how what you're going to do with this pain, with this page of swords. You're learning who you want to be here with this wheel of fortune and the world card here. There is a time now for something to be complete, for something to be over, and for you to be free from something, for you to be released for something, for the truth to come to the top, you know, to like be emerged here. There is something that has been back and forth, back and forth. This is within you. This is how I feel. This has been within you. This disappointment has been within you, but now you have come to this place where you're okay within yourself. And there is something now that you're going to use this energy that you have. The energy that was this heartache you're going to take that energy and you're going to mold it into something else in your life here. That's what this is talking about. And this being the time for that. And you're going to see that all of the things that have happened to you before were for a reason and for were for the reason for you to do this. People's crowns are going to be following, falling off, falling off, falling off, falling off. It's like there's a storm coming and this storm is going to expose people. And there's no stopping this storm. Just like there's no stopping the storms of nature, you know? Look at this. There's a lot of success to be had here. There, you're going to be surrounded by, see people who you can build with. Who are going the same direction that you're going. And if other people are not, look at this. You cannot make this crap up. Going in the same direction. The people that are not, well... You know, okay, fine, stay behind and, you know, be disappointed then. But you're not going to stay behind for them to feed off of any longer. Yeah, look at this. Wheel of Fortune again. And the Ace of Swords. There is truth that is rising out of this. Uncertainty. Could have to do with a water sign. Doesn't have to be. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So you get to decide now. This is the first card that's coming out that I'm putting down, okay? And we're going to clarify these cards after. But the Seven of Cups here is signifying, okay, you get to choose what this means for you, what this means for your life, because you have a lot of energy now. You have a lot of fuel now. And what are you going to use all this energy for? What are you going to use all this momentum for? How do you choose with the thoughts that you choose to think? This is how you're choosing what this is going to be. So it's very important that you're, you know, you don't want to have to be like monitoring your thoughts, you know, in the beginning when you're realizing that you're creating your own reality here and you're using the law of attraction, right? In the beginning when you first realize you can be or do or have anything, yeah, it's a storm. It's a storm and you're trying to regulate the storm and it takes some time and that's okay. And for a lot of you, you know, wherever you are in this journey, you're starting to realize here what you focus on is what you get. And you're changing what you're focusing on. And this is why you're changing what you're going to get. And this is a very powerful story for you to tell. Because there's a lot of people out here in this world that, like you, have been betrayed, have been hurt, have been abused, have been taken advantage of, have been belittled, have been put down, have been made to feel like they are nothing. And they are realizing that they're not nothing. And these people that they thought had all this power over them, these situations and everything, no, 
They are very, very, very powerful. And you're showing everyone. Your success is showing other people how to come from nothing and make it to something. Something wonderful here. And it's very quick. And there are going to be people, you know, this is the kind of energy of like, you know, I believe that the earth is round and everybody else believes that it's flat. And this is people coming, wanting to come after you. And you're like, you know what, I, you know, I'm going out on my voyage and I'm going to prove that the earth is round. And I, I, you know, I don't know where I'm going to end up. And this is that person coming back and saying, yeah, it is round. I didn't fall off, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and this is people that are wanting to come and attack here because they have their own disappointments, you know. They have blocked themselves, blah, blah, blah. We're going to look more into that Knight of Swords, but there's communication. This could be this King of Cups, and then you have this um, Knight of Pentacles here. There's somebody here that wants to come forward. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio this person. Look at this. They want something here. They want something. <laughs> You have the Nine of Cups, you have the Queen of Swords, and then you have the Three of Swords. Is this person afraid that you're not going to allow them in because of past heartache? Did they cause you past heartache? What did they do here? You know, in your day-to-day -day life, you were choosing to be happy, and this person was not meeting some sort of need here. I feel like this was a false start. Like, nothing ever really happened with this person. It was kind of like they kind of came forward with this kind of Knight of Wands energy, but nothing ever happened with it. Yeah, they were too in their head about it. Why? Because you have this Empress energy here. So there was an intimidation factor. You have the Ten of Cups and you have the Hierophant. So this is like, you know, they started to run then. <laughs> you know, they were chasing and then they switched to running um, because they saw what they were chasing was an Empress and this scared them. Uh, that's kind of the energy that, that happened here. So that's very interesting. We'll see more when I clarify. Let's, let's see what else. You have the, um, six of cups, the king of swords here. You have a lot of clarity on your past. Something that was very uncertain, something that you were fighting for. You're learning how to turn this uh, focus into something that's going to create a lot of balance, a lot of stability, a lot of new opportunities for you here in your life here. I feel like there is another person that wants to come forward um, that you could meet here. I feel like you're focusing on what it is that you can create at this time. What it is that you can have in your life? There was like prayers that you're like, okay, I said the prayer and now I'm going to line up with the energy. Yeah, look at the magician is here and the hanged man. So this is the choice of like, yeah, I know how to manifest what it is that I've been desiring, what it is that I've been praying for. I know how to do it now. I'm not going to hold back anymore. This is a very different energy than this. The art of allowing, of receiving, right? And this is the shift that you're doing here. This is very, very important energy. Okay, I'm going to leave these out to be clarified as well. Because that's... There's something here pretty big that you're making possible that was, that was impossible. It's like there was something that's impossible, but now it's like, oh no, this is very possible. And you're going to be... It's like your name behind this possibility. You know, you're the one that's making this possible. Nobody else is. You have the hangman, you have judgment, and you have the emperor here. This comeback that you have, there's you have an idea and you have a comeback. And this is the energy of, let's say you're working for a company or something and you have this new idea and they don't, you like pitch them your idea or whatever and they're like, no, that's not. And, you know, you kind of go away by yourself and it's like, okay, well, what am I going to do now? You know, um, and behind the scenes, you decide, okay, I'm, I'm going to do this. There's a call. There's a pull. You believe in this idea. You believe in this blueprint and you know you can make it possible. And there is a way where you're lining up with this. 
Because in the beginning, it's like, okay, I don't have the money to do this. I don't have this to be able to do this. I don't have this. I don't have this. Nobody else is going to believe in me. It's really hard to do this thing that I'm trying to do. People will train their whole lives and have degrees and all of this and family members and they still are not successful. So how can I do this? You know, talking yourself out of it, but you weeded through that. You got through that because you faced other things that have been, you have been allowing to keep you down for your entire life past relationships, there has been a review. It's like you did a mini life review and you said, okay, all this stuff where I thought other people were keeping me down, really, I allowed these people to do that. And you know what? That's not putting yourself down. That's just saying, I'm not going to do that anymore. And now look at me go. There is nothing that I cannot be or do or have. And I'm powerful. And I know that I can make this, that I can do this. And this is something calling within me. And yeah, there is no logical sense that I should be able to do this in this world. But I feel like if this is right, this is calling me, I have to try, I have to do this. You know, and this is the energy of you doing this <laughs> and you being really successful. And this company wants to come to you now and it's like, well, no, now you have your own, now you're starting your own company doing this. Now you're starting your own business doing this. And now these people are wanting, you know, <laughs> Why would I go back to you now? This is that kind of an energy and it doesn't have to be that at all, but you could see where it fits. There is a comeback because you're deciding to take another look at an idea that you had that was laughed at, that was not popular, that nobody believed in, that was everybody does things this way and this is how we're going to do it. And you're not doing things this way because there's something wrong with you and ostracized people are ostracizing ostracized you for that you know and this put you in your head put you in your head put you in your head and you know there were other things that needed to be healed because other areas of your life progression was not being had and you learned why you learned why you learned what it is that you were trying to walk away from you were actually holding on to it and attracting only that and so you changed this norm that you had. Look at this King of Pentacles and then the world. The end of that. The end of everybody always doing things in this particular way. I mean, oh my gosh, wow. It's just, it's, this is very powerful. Okay, I want to I wanna clarify now. <laughs> Let's clarify this um, Seven of Cups. Are you kidding me? Wheel of Fortune. And the Wheel of Fortune keeps coming out in the beginning. The beginning of your reading. So divine timing, this divine timing that you're waiting for. Yeah, it's here. It's here. Wow. It's your time now. Something is changing. And now it's like you have a direction picked out. You have the dream here. You're holding this in your hand. You know what it is. And it's only a matter of time and doing and time and doing and time and doing and being in the joy of creation that this is bringing this forward here. But there is a mystery about something that you now understand. There is something that you didn't see as possible before. And now you, you're seeing it as possible. There is something here that you're taking a second look at. There was a lot of dreams that you could choose from. There was a lot of picture, a lot of like... Okay, there's a lot of different projects here. There's a lot of different things here. But there is something here. A lot of you could be something you're getting back to and you're going to change it. There's just something here that you're taking a second look at. There is something here that you're doing. And now is the time for you to do this. Now it's the time. So there you go. You have the um, high priestess here. <laughs> so this is something that, you know, this pathway that is leading you to success, it's not a normal pathway. You didn't have a normal path in life. You, you know, this is not somebody who like, you know, everybody did this and then everybody does this at this age and then everybody does this at this age and everybody does this at this age. And that's what you did. No, you didn't do that. And you're not supposed to do that. So it's like, don't look at other people's lives. Don't measure your life to other people's because your life hasn't been like anyone else's because it's not supposed to. Um, because other people are living limited reality and you're not going to, you know, there, there's a huge change here. There's a big possibility here. It's going to have to do with a Pisces person. You know, they're, they're holding back for a reason here. Look at this. Yeah. 
you have the Knight of Cups here again now, and now you have the um, or no, the King of Cups and the Knight of Cups. And this person wants to come towards you here. They're really wanting to come towards you. They see that you're a person that you know how to, you have a lot to offer. They like the way that you carry yourself. They feel like you're a very elegant person and they know that you, they have already kind of put you above them from the beginning when they saw you. And so when you do this, it's they're putting themselves down and doing that. So this person had to learn how to build out their build up their confidence and uh, to be able to approach you here. And that's something that they're going to come forward and do. But I feel like there's a lot of passion between you and this person. And it's something that may surprise you in a way. Not that I feel like you wouldn't find this person attractive, but... I think that the amount of passion, this person is very different than anyone else that you have been with on this earth, you know? And so there is something here about this alignment that you have with this person. I feel like this person feels like they have known you for a long time. They feel like they, they remind you, you remind them of someone, maybe like um, someone in their life that they thought very fondly of that passed away. There is something here about that kind of a message. You remind them of someone like that. And this is a quality that they would absolutely pick in the person that they would want to manifest, be with. But they didn't really put their finger on it until they saw you, you know. So this is a person who, you know, they want to discover things about this world. And there is something here unexpected about this person. But it feels like a pleasant surprise. Like you wouldn't think this about this person or this about this person. Like if you think about all the different ways that you are, it's like no person fits that, you know? I feel like you have always felt like you never really fit in anywhere. You know, there's always sides of yourself that you have to hide because other people just don't understand. And with this person, you're not going to feel that way. Look at this Ace of Cups and look at this Two of Cups. genuine offer of love and you know um i started cha i changed the cards but the seven of wands was in reverse it's like you're not having to do everything and fight everything <laughs> you know this is there is a change here within you and you're changing within you and you're seeing that you can trust yourself it was like before you felt like you needed someone there to protect you. But at the same time, no one ever protected you. You protected everyone else and yourself. And you got no thanks for it. <laughs> and now you're, you fix that within yourself where you're believing in your, like you didn't give yourself the credit, but you did everything. And so now you're giving yourself the credit, but you're going to allow someone else to help out. And this is this change that now is al allows the impossible to be possible. That's what the star, you know, represents. You know, if you think about things in our history, we were cavemen and it's like, okay, we're cavemen, we live in caves. And somebody was like, you know what? Maybe I want to build my own house and I don't want it to be, uh, a place where bats live also, <laughs> you know, change happened, you know, because somebody thought something different. You know, if you look at all the different people on the planet that, you know, thought differently and said, you know, uh, I don't think this is right. <laughs> and so just because everybody does it and this is how things have always been done and the law is this way, everything, that doesn't mean that it's right, you know, um, so there is something here that you're you're changing here. There's something here that you're letting you're you're the example for something being possible and uh, people being able to get a new life after something. It's like there is something here where people expect you to give up on your life and you don't. You just don't. And that's very beautiful. Let's see this. I want to see about this Knight of Swords. I want to understand this Knight of Swords, and I'm, you know, let's see. this could have to do with a friend situation. You know, you, <clears throat> you have the Nine of Swords here. You have the Queen of Cups, and you have the Seven of Pentacles here. There was a person here, there, whoever it is, you're weeding out the garden, okay? This storm coming in. 
you can see very clearly, you know, who is who. And there's something here about people that are wounded around you that want you, you know, they don't want the good for you. And that's becoming very evident. They're not happy for your successes. They're not celebrating your successes, you know, and that's just it. And for some of you, it could be a close friend that, you know, they come at you in a way that is going to make it very clear, but going to make it very known. The more we progress through this year, the more difficult it is going to be for snakes to hide in the grass. That's not happening anymore. You know, the storm is coming and when the storm comes, these snakes are going to want to flee. And when they do, you can spot them exactly where they are, you know, and that's exactly what's happening here. So there is people here that, you know, they talk behind your back. They don't want good things for you. They make it sound like they're doing good things for you, like they're trying to help you in particular ways, but actually they are not really doing that and they are working against you in a different way here look at this look at this you have the queen of pentacles and then you have the seven of swords for some of you there are people that you thought were your friends that are not your friends it's like even in past relationships there were people that you thought were friends that you would confide in and they will confide in you and they did things to help you but behind the scenes they were hoping when you weren't around, were they trying to flirt with someone that you were with? Were they trying to get more attention than you? Were they uh, spreading things around about you behind your back to make you look bad so that they look better? There is something here that's coming out. You have the Hierophant card here. Could somebody who have not been faithful in a marriage or something like that? There is something about somebody who legally, they weren't doing things right. It's like they had no respect for the law or the sanctity of marriage. Like they would marry someone for money and to get things and then divorce them when it's appropriate for them and pretend to be engaged with this person while they're actively looking for someone else and then do a switcheroo. There's like a thing here about this that I don't like. You know, it's like within your soul, you were struggling to be friends with a particular person and this was keeping you stuck here. This was making things, and, and the more and more and more success that you have, the more and more that you grow with this strength card, the more and more success that you um, obtain here, the more that you're going to have to come to a decision, the more you're going to have to block this person, the more that you're going to have this epiphany that this person needs to go and you need to focus on yourself here with the emperor. Yeah, because I feel like you would give this person full access and they shouldn't have it because they would take advantage when you get to emperor status. You know, this is um, the energy of Selena uh, Quintilla and her manager. You know, she was taken advantage. And there is a person here that shouldn't be around when you go for this new beginning, you know. And so this 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 is going to be revealed to you. Okay. Let's see King of Cups. We have the Nine of Wands. You know, there, the, if there is a person here that has a lot of feelings, that comes forward with a lot of feelings, I feel like you don't know it. You don't know it. You don't know that they were wounded. You don't know that they had a lot of difficulty in their life. They kept hidden their per private life. And they had a lot of difficulties that they were facing, so they didn't come forward and approach you. And there is something here about this person. Maybe you don't know that they have feelings for you because it feels like, you know, the King of Cups here, um, he's very calm during these turbulent waters and going to dip their toe in, but they're, they're not, you know. So this is a person that, you know, they can take their time 
to show their feelings. But once they do, they express it, you know, and once they do express their feelings with this fish upright here, when a fish on his necklace, when a fish jumps out of the water, the fish, it, that signifies being on your right path. So if this person is going to come forth to you, you know, and this is being around, you know, the heart chakra, the throat chakra, this is like when they're talking about matters of the heart, it needs to be on the right path or it will be very evident very soon that it's not, you know, um, and that's it. That's, that's, you know, high vibing king of cups, you know, you cannot even know that they have these feelings and they do. But once they express them, they're very, very, very genuine. And once they open, you know, up like a dam, you know, it, then it's just, you know. So there's a lot of emotion there, but there, there's a holding back energy um, because, you know, they have been through some things that they needed clarity on themselves. So I feel like this person will surprise you. I don't feel like it's a person that you've dated before. You know them in some capacity. And this could just mean, you know, you pass them all the time. And you're like, are they looking at me or are they not? Maybe they're married. I don't know. I'm not kidding. Yeah, but I think they're coming towards you. <laughs> yeah, they're, <laughs> they want to be married. They want to be married to you. Okay, Knight of Pentacles. Okay, what is this about? Page of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, and the Five of Swords. You know, they have decided that, you know, in their life, they didn't always go for what they really wanted. They, as far as love, they didn't 100% put themselves out there. They weren't in a place to 100% put themselves out there, so they didn't. And it was good that their past relationships didn't work out. And now they realize that. And they don't want to let that stop them from having something really amazing because they feel like you and them together could have something really amazing. So ultimately they want to take this chance here and that's what the fish in the cups represents. So this is feeling things out. This is feeling things out and deciding, you know, I'm not gonna hold back anymore. They keep crossing paths with you and the feelings are only growing. And they're, everything from their past, they have gone over it and over it and over it. And they feel like they have learned what they needed to learn and they're ready to move forward with their lives. And they keep kind of coming back to you. And so this is this person deciding to communicate, to deciding to put themselves out there and see where this goes. You know, they're going to kind of, you know, come forward with some kind of communication and see what you have to say back because they may not know if you're available. They may not know, you know, yeah, look at this. <laughs> but that's what I was talking about where it's like, but once they open that gate, <laughs> it's open. <laughs> you know, once you break that dam, like whoosh, full steam, stream ahead, you know, this is like, okay, yeah, I'll kind of see. You know, I'll kind of flirt. I'll see, they're going to see your response. Are you going to flirt back? They're going to kind of look, see if you're going to look back. They're going to start a conversation. Are you in, engaged in the conversation back? These are the clues that they're going to feel and put out there. And then <laughs> once they see that you're willing to reciprocate, they're going to put out their cup. And you're putting out your cup and then there is nothing holding back. That's chariot energy. This is very high Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, especially Pisces and Cancer energy. Could be one of those. It could mean this beginning in Pisces season. And then we have the devil. What is this about? Okay, we have the moon. And 
we have the king of swords okay so is this this king of swords person over here that would be you know this could be a person from your past here because you have the six of cups and then you have the king of swords next that's what we're clarifying next so so this is king of swords twice is there a person coming forward presenting themselves as they have transformed but have they and have you known them for a long, 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 long time? You know, I don't like Six of Cups. A lot of people read it as somebody coming back around. And Six of Cups warns against taking this person back. <laughs> you know, this is a person that, you know, they had their chance and they messed it up. Move on. You know, that's the kind of energy that the Six of Cups brings, especially when the car with cards, it is around it. So to for that to be clarified by the devil and the moon, this is telling me that someone is hiding, that they don't have it all together. They're trying to present themselves as a king of swords. It's just a cold energy. You know, king of swords can be very cold. So this is a person from your past who... You know, it was very exciting in the beginning, but once they had you on the hook, that was it. You know, they never really uh, showed you any kind of affection. They never really did anything that showed any kind of affection. They were just there and they took what you gave. And then they accused you of not giving. You know, it's a very cold energy. It's a person who, you know, they were given everything, but they don't give the credit to anyone who gave them anything. And with the moon and the devil, I don't like that. Yeah, look at this seven of wands and the two of swords. You block this person because you were fighting them. And it's like, how am I battling in a connection? You, were, you could never even come together with this person because they were always battling you. And you were like handing them a piece of bread and they're like, knock it out of your hand. You're like, whoa, can you stop doing that? And you give them another, and they... And then they're like, why are you throwing bread around? What? <laughs> you know? And then telling people, this person, they never gave me any bread. What? <laughs> it's just constant spinning and moving goal. This is moving goalposts. That's what this energy is. They're saying one thing. They're saying one thing. But then when you explain it well then they're changing it to something else they keep changing what the conversation what the point is about so nothing is ever resolved <laughs> there is no you know yeah you have evolved past this person here with judgment and the empress and they're disappointed they're still stuck back here and they're disappointed so they're trying to get you to trick you into coming back but it's not a new beginning. It's not a new adventure. It's the same old crap again and again. And this person is seeing that you're doing well and seeing that you're moving on. There's people, you may have mutual friend group that this person is able to get some sort of information on you. And they're hearing about you being out with someone else. Blah, blah, blah. What a disaster, right? What a disaster here. And it's like, you're going to know this. You're going to know this because of how you're going to feel. You're going to absolutely be able to feel that this person is full of BS. Any person that made you cry already, gone. No time for it. Moving forward, you know? And that's that, you know? It's like you have healed yourself. You did that. And you are getting... A lot of beautiful things coming towards you. The, the universe is orchestrating a lot of wonderful things for you. So this person, Six of Pentacles, I don't like it. Look at this. Now you have the Knight of Wands here. I don't like it. Knight of Wands, no roots. They're all over the place. <laughs> you know, they're over here. <laughs> This is one person giving and one person receiving. You know, it's not back and forth. It's not mutual. This person is standing over this other person. No, this is not equal give and take. This is not, you know, this is someone who, you know, you're you're trying to teach them how to fish and they're, you know, accusing you of betraying them when they're betraying you. This is ridiculous. Look at this. And you have the six of cups. This person, you know, they give very, very little. Look at this. 
Did I talk about crowns falling off? And you have this four of uh, pentacles here. This person... I don't like it. Other people don't like it. Other people see it. Other people, I feel like there's been people that for a long time, they were like, how is this person with this person? I just don't get it. Why? Like, why? Seriously, why? You know? Yeah. This person promised marriage. And they may come in promising that. That's something that you... All of these things that you wanted, all of this change that you wanted, trying to be romantic here. No. Okay. Yeah, look at you. You're not having it. Good for you. Look, you have the Three of Pentacles and then you have the um, Ace of Swords here. So let's see about this. Ace of Swords is in here flipped over. Okay, let's see. Three of Pentacles. Look at this. Three of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles here. Wow. There is something here about, uh, look at this. You have the Four of Wands here and the Magician. Wow. You're manifesting stability into your life. You're manifesting an upgrade, stability in all areas of your life. And it's a really beautiful thing. Look at this King of Wands here. You're manifesting for yourself everything that you have wanted here. There is somebody who's trying to come back and collaborate with you. But you're going to collaborate with the truth. You're going to collaborate with balance. You're going to collaborate with this new opportunity that is one that is giving you a crown, not one that always tried to take yours. So it's just a beautiful energy. Oh, I, I can see, here it is. Ace of Swords was flipped over and all the cards are like this. And it was like, and as I was shuffling, I could see it. I could see it, you know, pop out every now and then. So this is the um, Three of Pentacles with the Ace of Swords, clarified by the Three of Pentacles with the Ace of Swords and the King of Pentacles. So this is something here where, you know, you're creating the new normal. Now you're the new mark to beat. Now you're, new, you're the new time to beat. It's like, you know, a swim race in an Olympic pool. And it's like, okay, this is the time and nobody gets, you know, lower than this time in the history of humans, whatever. And you do. <laughs> and now you're the new normal. You're the new time to beat. You set the new precedent here. There was something that was impossible and now it's possible. And you're gonna collaborate. You're gonna go towards the new. Even if you do decide because, you know, this king of, this uh, ace of swords didn't come out right away. It was in the mix and it was just peeking out, peeking out, peeking out. You know, you may give somebody a chance from the past and that's okay. You know, you're here to live your life. You're here to make your own decisions, you know, and it's just going to show you that nothing is going to stop this success that's coming for you and nothing is going to stop this new, true, beautiful um, coming together of your life, this new, amazing manifestation and this person very quickly you will see no i can't do nothing has changed and this truth will come out and the person that you are truly meant to collaborate with you know that it is your destiny to build this this life with here uh where you you know you and this person live in this expression of making the impossible possible that's what you and this person represent this is a power couple that is changing the norm here. You know, that's what this is. And this is going to happen. And it's, you know, what's so beautiful about this is, you know, you have the magician and the outcome, and then you had the magician and the outcome as well. So what is your outcome? Um, What you're manifesting, whatever it is that you're wanting to manifest, that's the outcome. 
and it's a lot of stability for you and it, it, this is something that you know you deserve here it's like a it's like a full circle moment here you know this is giving me the energy of like Maya Angelou she it was like she interviewed at the UN building when she was you know uh, barefoot and pregnant and she you know was a young girl and she interviewed and they turned her down <laughs> you know and all these years later it was like the some big anniversary some big event celebrating the UN and who did they want their guest of honor to speak at this my angel right and you know what she did it she went there and she was like, yeah, I had nothing. I had no one. And I interviewed here and you turned me down. And now look at this. They're begging me to come speak there and to be the honorary person speaking here. <laughs> you know, and when she, when she was young, you know, and she, it, it was unheard of for, you know, a young, single black woman that's pregnant the UN's gonna ask her to speak yeah right anyone's gonna hear what she has to say but she didn't she didn't play into that doubt you know and look what happened right this is that kind of energy this is like you're creating a new normal here and the people that were against you they're gonna be exposed and there's gonna be people that were once against you that are now for you and you're gonna see that here that's what this energy is. Yeah, because you're standing and you're speaking your truth here. And the world, people are going to see this. You know, in this church here, people travel all around the world to see what, what other people have created here. Centuries after, all this time after. That's what you're doing here. This is something that's going to change, you know, humanity. Look, yeah, look at, it has the world here holding the world in his hand yeah it's a big energy wow amazing okay let's see magic guardian unlock the magic within wow Lord, take charge and authority. Yeah, you're taking charge of your life. There is a magic that you have within you, a calling, and you're going to do it here. <laughs> you're going to become this new figure of authority. It's not going to be somebody else. Yeah, it's, you have the shield maiden, make plans and focus. One more, we'll do the sun, enjoy happiness and success. Of course, Leo is going to get that. Okay, I like to pull these cards about this person coming in so we can get um, insight on their character and clues for you to identify who this person may be in your life. Buffalo. Did I say a storm is coming? Look at this. I feel like you're going to find this person after you're hearing or... Um, Uncovering something about a particular person, some people that you're deciding to cut out of your life or that you're deciding to distance yourself from. There's just something about this lightning bolt and this exposing, you know, snakes in the grass. And now you see these snakes, you know, and this buffalo is, is coming out of nowhere here, but not, you know, uh, buffaloes represent um, spirituality, being spiritually enlightened. So. This is a very interesting energy here that you have coming forth. That there is a storm and, you know, the buffalo is not afraid of the storm, you know, because they trust in their ability to handle the storm. So this is you trusting in your ability to handle the storm and this other person is as well. So there is something very interesting about this person. You have the elephant, you have the beaver. Didn't I talk about a dam? And when it breaks, it breaks. And there's the flood of the emotions here. And the beaver is someone very dedicated, is someone who wants to build a home with someone. 
It's someone who is going to put in the work, who's going to be there every day. They're going to be there and they're going to make this home together. And they're going to do what needs to be done for this to continue. A lot of emotions uh, that this person has, that this person will share. Well, it's going to take them some time to open up. But once they do open up, you have their whole heart. You know, and this is a really beautiful energy for you to be coming into. Wow, how amazing. You know, you have the elephant here. The elephant here is, you know, elephants symbolize. The elephants go back to where they have lost loved ones. You know, they perform a funeral. They all gather around after someone, you know, in their family has passed away. When they, bones of another animal, you know, another elephant, they will stop and mourn, you know. And when they travel, you know, they tend to go back the same way every year and they will stop at places where they have lost loved ones previous years and they will pause there. Uh, you know, paying respects and honoring um, those that have come before them. So, you know, this is a person who's wounded, you know, this, this elephant has lost their tusk, but at the same time, they have this flame here. So they have learned to heal themselves and come above, you know, the ashes here, which is so interesting because, you know, you have the sage here in this cup that's like a burning flame. And this person as well has learned how to overcome and to heal themselves and to go forward not forgetting you know but taking these past hurts and using them to build a better life for themselves so this person could be healing from the loss of someone uh in their past and if you are as well this person is someone who is going to i just feel like in the past people that you were with they didn't understand things that you went through. They didn't understand. And it's not necessarily maybe that this person went through the same thing, but they have gone through difficult things. And they have a very big open mind and a huge heart. So this person is someone who they, they know how to have compassion, you know. And this is something I feel like you're really going to appreciate about this person. You know, they have decided by all of the difficulties that they have gone through, they have decided to become enlightened, not allow this to jade them. And that's something that I feel like you have done as well. So this is a really beautiful thing going forward for you and this person. Okay, let me get a few more cards here. Enthusiasm. Yeah, they have an enthusiasm for life. They have a vitality about life. Uh, this is a Sagittarius card here. So, you know, you have a Sagittarius. You have um, resistance and speculation. Yeah, this person is not rushing forward, you know, but at the same time, I feel like they're trying to gather more information because, what you know, having this enthusiasm card, they're very excited about life. They're very excited. They give 100% to the person that they're with. So they want to be sure before they make a move, you know, and there are people that you are feeling um it's, it's okay to not just, you meet someone and right away, enthusiasm, everything, whoa, whoa, whoa. You know, it's okay to be, spec you know, have some speculation. It's okay, you know, so resistance is, you know, a normal part of everything. We need that. You know, if we just instantly manifested everything that we want, it would be an absolute disaster, you know. So, um, I mean, can you imagine? <sighs> That would not be good. So this is like something that comes up, but it's like when it keeps coming up. This is not just nerves. This is not just me protecting myself. This is something more. This is me telling me this is not right with this person. And this is something that you're going to learn with a past person trying to come back, new people trying to come in to decipher who is the right person for me. And it's healthy for you to do that. You know, you have cancer here. You have Taurus here as well. You have the restlessness <laughs> and then you have romance. Yeah, you know, all of you are ready. You're ready to meet someone. This person is ready to meet someone as well and calling it in. But then once it's here, it's like, okay, I don't know about this. You know what I mean? And that's okay. That's a normal part of it. You're not just going to be right here with someone day one, <laughs> you know? So allow this the time that it takes to unfold, you know? If you're too forward, you could push this person you know, back away. So this is about you allowing this to unfold naturally. Yeah. Uh, you have Aries and you have Taurus. 
here again. Wow. And you know, you have the loss card here. Yeah, this person has ha experienced loss and they detached from that. They detached for a long, long time, but now look, they're ready. Discovery and harmony. So now this person is ready, you know, and then you have this excitement here. It just keeps going. So this is, um, okay, whoops. This is what I have for you, Leo. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I want all the blessings, everything that you want in your life. You know, you can have it. You can do it. So thank you so much. If you resonated with this video and you want to like or subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it. Also, I have a book. It's called One Light, and it's all about the law of attraction and manifesting. So if you're interested, it's in the description, okay? So thank you so much.